This tutorial is how to take um, an image and um, get it so that I can print it on a plate. So what I've done is in Google Classroom, I've set up a class, uh, an assignment for you. So uh, if you're not sure how to get to Google Classroom, let me know and I'll be in the room to help you with that. Um, but And if you've been there before and went to this class, you can just click straight on here and go right to Plate Design Assignment you might have to kind of uh, sign in as a student and then you'll get to this screen right here in that case you once again hit plate as uh, design assignment um, which I've given you and um, then I'm going to you're gonna open that up and you're gonna see this right here and this what this is is a um, a drawing that I did in, in Google Drawing you may not use you, you might have used document before but drawing might be new to you so I'm just gonna click on that and go uh, to Google Drawings so now we're in uh, Google Drawings and all this assignment is uh, is two circles I put two circles on here um, to have an active spot right here that's about the size of the center of your plate this can go over just a little bit into this section but do not go beyond that outside circle um, because you will have some problems with that so what I want to do is put my image right in there, but I haven't saved an image yet, so I really have to go up to the tabs and open up a new tab. And this is where I'm going to go to uh, um, Google and do a search. So I'm going to type in um, dragon, for example. And, uh, and I spelled it wrong, so, but <laughs> there we go. Uh, thank you, Google. Um, now, when I get that, I'm going to get different uh, things on dragons, and I want to do images for dragons. Uh, I'm going to click on that. Now here's the problem. You can't, you're can't. you going to have to paint over top of these images. So it would be almost impossible to paint that dragon because of it's a full color image. There's, there's nothing, maybe that I could use, um, but the rest, and that is actually the kind of thing I'm looking for. But for the most part, these are really hard to do. So we can limit our search uh, with Google by going to the Google image search there. And this is going to give me some options. Um, just to help me out, I'm going to put medium size. Um, that way I don't have to resize it a whole lot. And then the color, here's the, the big trick. I'm going to hit black and white. When I do that, now I have lots of options that I could use. There's still some that are too complex. Like this one, I'm going to, by the way, on these plates, you're going to put this image on. Um, to make it final, you have to repaint it. So this, would, this one would be just too many lines and too many integral parts. I'm not going to do that. This one would work. This one would work. I, you know, I can get some of those designs in there. Um, this one looks like a nice simple one. That one's a good one. Um, let me pick this one. Um, and uh, let's say I find one that's good. It's black and white. It's not a photograph. And I like that. I'm going to hit um, View Image. So I click on View Image. And then um, I'm going to right click. Now on the Chromebook, that means hit two, both fingers down at the same time, and you're going to get um, some options here. And we want to save image as. And so when you click on save image as on the Chromebook, now I'm not right now on a Chromebook, but I did save what it looks like. You're going to see this. And uh, you're not going to click Google Drive. Um, in this case, just download it to the the Chromebook itself. Um, we're not gonna. We don't need to save the image. We need to save the finished product because you might add more than one image on there. Um, so I would go ahead and hit uh, download, and and maybe save it to that area. Um, and I'm gonna save mine to a slightly different spot. Okay. So now that I have it saved, I'm gonna go back to um, the assignment. And um, I'm going to, I can either click on this thing that looks like a little square with mountains in it. It's called the image. Or if you're not sure, go hit uh, insert image. Same, you'll get the same screen when you come up here. And uh, what I want to do is hit the blue square. It seems like Google, if you're not sure what to do in Google Chrome, just go ahead and hit the blue square off and that's the right answer. I'm going to click on that. Now you're not going to see this um, screen. Uh, I'm on a regular computer. You're going to see this screen again. And once again, you want to go and hit uh, click on downloads, and you should see your image of your dragon here, and just go ahead and click on it. Now, that's not an active screen, 
Um, so I'm just going to open this up real quick. I think I have the right one. Hopefully that's the right one. There's my dragon picture. Um, and it should come up here like this. Now at this point, you can move it around. Just click on it, move it around. See those red lines? That's centering it, basically. So now a little bit's going over. If you look at that uh, outside line there, um, the inside active line is here. This is a bit big. And this is going to be hard for me to print. In fact, a little bit of it goes outside. And if it was even bigger like that, um, it's a good thing I pushed middle. That's going to be bigger than the outside line. And that's going to be um, impossible for me to put on my um, plate. Now, like I said, the center of the plate, the flattest part of the plate, is going to be about that size. So that's now my dragon looks pretty good. And if it overhangs a little bit like that, no big deal. That's okay. Um, maybe you want to make it a, a little smaller. Maybe your metaphor um, requires maybe a, a one this size and add some other things around it like some of those other plates did. You're welcome to make it a little smaller at this point. Notice that I'm dragging the um, blue things. Now, how do I drag this? See how it's a... Uh, four arrows here, but when I get up to here, it turns to two arrows. Then I can drag it, and it'll proportionally get smaller and bigger. If I do this, it's going to get skinny and weird looking. Okay, I would not um, ever use those things when I'm resizing images, just because I don't want it to be unproportional. So I always do the corners like that, and I, I set that up. Um, and I can click on that. I can add other things to it. Remember, words do not work for. Um, uh, this because it's going to be printed backwards, so I would not um, pick anything with words in it. Um, and I'd stay away from cliches like uh, hearts and, and infinity signs and things like that. Um, but you could put some other items here that might represent your relationship with your friend or your whoever it is that you're cho uh, that you're doing your metaphor with. But once you get done with that. Um, then all you need to do is you exit out of this. I'm done. It saves for it. I'll go back to assignment. And the last thing I need to do is turn it in. I'm going to click turn it in. I want to attach submitted to uh, design. Yes, yes, yes. Turn in. Um, and now um, Mr. Lane can open up your um, program and print it on the printer. And um, next time you come to art class, you guys can put it on your plates. Thank you.